One of Sarasota's oldest landmarks is getting a facelift with nearly half a million dollars of county money. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jessica Jordan is live in the newsroom with the details on this. Jessica. Yeah, the Edison Keith Farmhouse at Philippi Estate Park was built in 1916. County staff say the building can't be used until it undergoes major reconstruction work to its exterior and interior construction. The building hasn't really had a viable use since the county purchased the park in the 1980s. For years, the Edison Keith farmhouse at Philippi Estate Park has sat empty, its windows and doors boarded up. But in a few weeks, this site, listed on the National Register of Historic Places, will get a major facelift. Uh, we're starting from the bottom up. We want to make sure that it's, it's secure, that the foundation is solid, and then the rest of the work will focus on exterior renovations to the building. Sarasota Board of County Commissioners just approved the first phase of construction totaling more than $400,000. The project will include raising the building, construction of new concrete and masonry foundations, carpentry, painting and electrical and plumbing work. And Edson Keith came down in 1916 and bought this property. He was unusual in that he didn't go back to Chicago. This was a working farm that went year round. This working farm sat on a 60 acre estate. All of the property is now owned by the county. Staff plan to complete renovations here by January 2011. All of the work will follow the U.S. Secretary of the Interior standards for historic rehabilitation. We're delighted that it can remain so close to downtown and be a natural areas park. Philippia State Park hosts a farmer's market every Wednesday. Part of the proceeds from the sales of locally grown foods go towards funding the restoration of the interior of the Edson Hudson, Edson Keith farmhouse. Lauren? Jessica, how much money have they raised so far, do we know? Yeah, they've already raised more than $7,000, and that's just from the fees that they charge the vendors to sell the items out there. But they say they'll continue to ch take a par portion of that money until the farmer's market ends, which is at the end of May. All right, thanks, Jessica.